Hello, so the next step is, um, like I mentioned, just to kind of create this second loop around the mouth. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I kind of need to drag this out and weld this point to there, but there's a bit of an issue because if I did, it would kind of, you know, distort this whole area a little bit too much. It would just be too much distortion going on there. So what I'm actually going to do um, is kind of spread these edges out a little bit. Kind of these edges, three edges that are too close together. Because don't forget, I did connect in between them. And I did say that, you know, I can spread those out a little later. So I'm going to kind of delete these ones for now. Don't worry about it. It's not going to take too long to kind of place those in again. And then I'm just going to select all of these just here. And I'm going to drag these down. Uh, helps if I hold control. So by holding control, I'm going to select them all and kind of drag it down a little bit, like so. And in. And then I can kind of drag this down as well. And I'm just kind of, kind of go in between like this. And let's see what that looks like. So target world, that point, that point, and drag that down further. Maybe kind of drag these two down as well, and this edge because it is a bit close, just like that. Just spread it out. It's looking much better. If we've got a better kind of spread of polys here, and it's creating a better curve. A uh, better flow line as well. Like I mentioned, the better the flow lines, the better the animation. So just holding control, just going to kind of drag this down slightly, pull that out because that's the way her chin goes. Pull these back a bit. And then I'm just going to target weld this vertex point to that point just there. You can see how we've created that kind of nice curve around her, um, around her lips. And I'm just going to kind of go in and line this up a little better. Just going to change the angles again slightly on these um, areas because I don't want them to all kind of go straight down in a line. I just want to spread those out nicely so um, they can kind of flow over the chin really nicely as well. So I did say I'd kind of do the lips in this video, so the way that you do the lips oh, is quite a simple kind of technique because you've kind of mapped out the overall shape of the lips anyway uh, in this video, uh, in the last video should I say, and all that you're kind of doing now is creating the kind of flesh for the lips I guess. So if you press the edge tool again just save and by holding control just select on these edges just there. You're just going to hold shift drag down slightly like that and then drag down again like this. I know it looks really distorted on the sides at the minute but it's because we've not really changed the um, the kind of thickness uh, of the gap between the edges and that obviously is going to decrease as it goes towards the corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to roughly kind of line up her, her lips like so So 
I'm just going to do it like that. That looks okay. In fact, I may just kind of push this into the corner a little more. Um, and then just make sure it's looking okay in my side view too. And then do the same on the bottom just here. So I'm just going to hold control and select these edges just here. I'm going to shift and drag up and drag that out. That's a little bit too much for my liking. Um, and then hold shift and I'm going to drag that in again. <laughs> now that looks quite odd, but don't worry. I'm just going to kind of line this up again. So that is following that lip nicely that one there just in the corner here is where I'm gonna bring these areas in like so so I'm just kind of doing a bit of tweaking here just to ensure that the lips are looking okay. Um, okay, so the next step now then is just to, and we're gonna lift these up a little because you know, I'm finding that there's a bit of a, it's too flat. If you look on the lip just here, it's looking a little bit, a little too flat. So I just wanna kind of pull this up a little. I know it's not quite following the reference at the moment, but I can sort of place in a new edge um, at any point. Um, just to make that look a little rounder. In fact, you know what? Let's just keep it the way it was. Just for now. And I'll kind of worry about that a bit later. I'm going to zoom in quite a lot on this corner area of, of the lips here because this is where I need to kind of fix, fix it up a little bit. So the way I do that is I select these two areas just here, the top and bottom, and I bridge that gap. And I do the same just there. I select those two, you know, the top and bottom, and bridge. You can see by doing that, I've got kind of a really tight, a really kind of miniature kind of curvature going on in the corner. And again, that's going to help a lot when it comes to animation. You know, it will kind of stretch out and it will create this nice kind of. Um, stretching kind of uh, look I guess so there's no distortion again just trying to line this up um, because I'm not quite happy with the placement of the upper lip but kind of let's see what's going on there um, don't forget we can apply smoothing groups um, and that's what's going to kind of separate the lips from the rest of the of the um, of the face because if we don't do that it's going to kind of look a little odd because it will look like and if I kind of show you it's going to look like the lips are kind of just merged into that same kind of piece like that and it looks okay like that you know once you've text textured it it will look quite good but just for the you know for the whole point of this demonstration I'm just going to select this whole lip area hold alt and I'm going to deselect the rest quickly because uh, we're running out of time here um, and then I'm going to deselect number one and press number two and you can kind of see how we've got that kind of edge around the lips like that. Yeah, so that's the kind of lips done. And then we can move on to the next part of, uh, which is the chin.